Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Uh, today I'm putting this pump back together. It's on an angle at the minute because I'm draining the last dregs out. Obviously I don't want to put it back together with a little bit of water in. Uh, I flushed it out but I'm just draining the last dregs out into the bucket. Uh, these are my two side covers, they need to go on. And then these are all the little bits and bobs that's been cleaned out. All good to go. Uh, this. I think this is the. I don't want to say something wrong. It's either this one or this one, but I believe it's this one, which is the. It's, it controls the direction of the flow. So when you pull your quadrant, that's the. I think that long one, the curved one, is the one that shuts, and that's the one that directs the flow. Don't get me wrong. It's either that one or that one. I know one of them's a blow off valve. Uh, yeah. So I'll just get these back together and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's back together. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it says right hand and this one says left hand. Uh, so obviously this is the front, this is where the engine is, this is where the PTO is. Uh, so this one goes this side, this way around like that. There's a locating pin at the bottom, uh, goes up with this hole here. So Obviously, these aren't tight yet. I'm just chucking it, well, not chucking it on. I'm just putting them all on. I'll turn it over a few times with my finger. I'll make sure it's not catching on anything. And then once I know I'm happy with it, then I'll come around and I'll talk all these up. So this is the next one. I'll just get the... All that liquid that's coming out looks like water. It's not, it's WD-40. Um, because obviously, I jetted them all out. Uh, I used WD-40 afterwards to make sure there was no corrosion, so I flushed them out with a jet wash, and then after that I flushed them out with WD-40, so that's all that is. Just make sure I get it all out. I am actually tipping in a bucket, I'm not just tipping it on the floor. Uh, we'll get it all wet. Give the face a wipe, because you don't want anything on the face that could foul the gasket. And then same again. This is the top, you might be wondering why this one looks different. Well, it's because I took I took these off just to see if I could see in, but there was no need, so I just, I didn't take them off on the next one. Um, but I'll show you. These two cylinders have to line up with these two pistons, and then that dowel on the bottom goes to that hole there. So as you can see, and if you can see, them two, them two. Uh, so I'll put it on. Sorry about the camera. So I'll get this one on there. Obviously you can't get it wrong because the dowel and then the gasket. And then again, this one should say left hand. And if you, that says right hand, left hand. If you're looking on the tractor, this is in line. Your PTO is over here. The rest of your tractor is over there. So that's how it works. So I'm just lining up the little, I call them pistons. I think they are pistons with the cylinder. But also, you have to get the dowel lined up and um, these two pistons, they run on like a rod, it's like a rail, obviously because they're oscillating like that. Um, so that you have to make sure you keep them on that rod. That rod's sort of like a track. If you don't get them on there, your pump won't spin. Bit of a jiggle. And there we go. It's on. So I'll put the bolts in. I'll turn it this way so you can see. Put them in. There's two of them are shouldered and two of them aren't um, and that is the, these two aren't shouldered these back two are and that's because it's a longer thread 
this is a shorter thread because you don't want it to like come out pump. There we go. Stick you back in. There you have it, that's the two side panels back on. All there is to do now is put the relief valve and the bypass valve in and then this is done. You can go back in the tractor and hopefully we'll test the hydraulics. To test whether this is right, I'll put my finger in there. As you can see, I can turn it over. Can you see them pistons going round and going in? And obviously I'm doing that with my finger, so there's nothing fouling, there's nothing catching. I can feel it, I know there's nothing crunching, um, so I know that this pump's now good. Obviously next I've got to put this plate on, on there, and then this goes in there. We'll tighten that down. And then there's just my blow-off valve and the valve that... Oh, there's a proper name for it, I'll find it out. The valve that directs the flow, so I just call it the directional flow valve that go in there. That's all there is to put back on this. This pump's now been fully disassembled, cleaned out, looked at, inspected, reassembled. So now this pump is ready. Come over here to the Fergie. It's ready to go back in, in there. Obviously, you can see my cylinder and my piston here. Uh, I'm just waiting for the new gasket and then I'll put that back on there. And then obviously I'll put it in, I'll connect it up put the quadrant back in, fill it up, and then that is pretty much this tractor finished. So again, like I said, oops, sorry, uh, this tractor is going to be for sale. If you'd like to buy it, I'll drop my email. You can email me. I will be doing some more videos, but also you can look back on the channel and you can see pretty much everything that this tractor's had. I've gone through absolutely everything on it. Um, thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing these past couple of days. I've been trying to upload some more. Uh, I'll keep it up. Once this is back together, obviously I can't drive it in a minute because there's no gearbox oil. But once I get this pump back in and back on, there will be gearbox oil and then we can go for a drive and I'll show you about it. Show you around. We'll probably go to the pub. I've got a drone so I can do some drone shots on the way. Uh, we'll get some other tractors with us, like there's Marshall, another Marshall next door, there's some Fordsons and Internationals. We'll get all together, we'll go for a run to the pub. Hopefully the weather's better than today because it's wanging it down. Uh, but until the next video, which will be, the next video will be me putting it in, filling it up, and then we'll probably give it a little test, we'll drive it. So until the next video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.